What's up guys, this is David with Great Choice Audio Video. Hey, today's video is about high vision cameras. High vision has a ton of cameras and it gets pretty exciting when they come out with some great cameras that not only look good in the daytime, they look really good at night. So they've came up with a model called the Color View Cameras and that's what we're looking at today. We have several different cameras on this house and we wanna show you guys you know, the different types of cameras. Um, there's a typical bullet camera. Now this is not your typical bullet camera. This is the new color view bullet camera and it is actually eight megapixel. So super, super high resolution. And then if you see what a uh, camera in the far corner, that is your typical dome camera. And then I'll show you uh, another section of the house that has a turret camera to show you guys what a turret camera is. Now today's society and everything going on, you know, people like to be more secure of seeing what's going on and around their house. So cameras make a great way to, um, you know, be more secure, you know, for any kind of intruders or just peace of mind knowing what's going on in or around your house. So now when it comes to security systems, you know, you can do as little or as much as you want when it comes to video. There's all different great locations around the house that you could place your cameras and you know, I want to show you guys a couple of tips and tricks on if you place your camera on one location over another or having two cameras. So let's get to that. All right, guys, here's the other camera I was talking about. This is a turret camera. This is also a new height vision color view camera, and it is a four megapixel camera. Now, the cool thing about these cameras also, guys, is they have super, super high resolution uh, or at night as well as during daytime. So they can see color at night, and be able to have much better clarity than your typical camera. Now these, because they're a turret, there's not a typical you know, plastic dome over the lens. So a lot of times, guys, in the past, you've seen you know, domes, especially we're really known for, where the uh, IR LEDs inside the dome would pretty much reflect off the dome at night, and your cameras at night would be blurry, or they would look like they're fogged up, or um, spots on them, and things like that. So kind of dope cameras have got a bad, bad rap over the years because of that. So they've kind of gone away from it a little bit or they've improved on some models, some different type of IR LEDs. Um, so you don't get that reflection. But anyway, these are the turret cameras. And uh, at the bottom, if you can see, there's actually a little bit of uh, LEDs that you can actually, <laughs> inside the, the, uh, the NVR, adjust, you know, turn the brightness on those uh, higher or lower. Um, on or off and all those sorts of things but you wouldn't believe and I'll show you guys some night footage here in a little bit on what a great picture it is at night and I'll show you the 4 megapixel and I'll show you the 8 megapixel on that side and I just did a little bit of walking around and uh, you can kind of see as I get closer and further away you know what, what it looks like and um, the high resolution at night um, because it's actually <laughs> pitch black and so it's creating kind of light in a sense to pick up all the details. So can't wait to show you that that's further in the video, but let me show you some different ways and tips and tricks on when you place cameras, what you're getting and what you're not getting, um, to, you know, which, which would make you choose one camera over two cameras in certain situations. All right guys, so I have the camera pretty much right underneath the cameras on the corner of the house. So it's kind of important to know where you want to place your cameras and depending on what you want to cover. So here's kind of one example. So we have it on the corner uh, of the house and it's a, just a two car garage, you know, driveway. But let's say, you know, uh, it's a family or it's an instance where they always have two cars in the driveway. So if you had just one camera on this side, obviously you can see someone walking on this side of the car getting inside the car, so that's great. Got a nice close-up shot from that camera. You get to see exactly what's going on. But what if the guy came from that side of the street and he was walking on this side of the car and he was right over here, the back to the car or the front, you don't really see much. It's a far, it's a lot further distance. You have now something in front of you now, if I had a camera right there, now I get both sides. So something to think about when placing cameras. So depending on what you want to see, you know, if something pulls in front and you want to get both sides, then I would add two cameras. If you just want to just see the whole driveway and 
and it's high enough that you could get a little bit over the vehicle or whatever's parked there, then that would be a good solution. So uh, a lot of times I like to do one at each end so it gets both sides of anything that's parked in the driveway or that area. So another tip for you guys. All right guys, what about this location? You know, we've got a front door and then we have a entry area that now we want to see someone um, as they're walking up to the front door from the from the driveway so we have a nice eight megapixel up here and again guys i'll show you some more of the view at night and what it looks like too but of course this house has plenty of soffit lighting around the perimeter of the house which guys you know no matter really how great the cameras are and they and the, of course the better the camera the better they can see at night but i do recommend having some sort of outdoor lighting to either motion lighting or some sort of lighting to come on uh, when you know either senses motion or it's on all the time because light does help the cameras of course see better and for further distances so with that being said um, you know light, light is definitely a good thing but I'll show you some great footage of night vision um, around 9 10 o'clock at night pitch black dark on the street and how well these cameras look so guys cameras are a lot of fun they're very useful and uh, Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and uh, we'll show you some more of the great footage. So stay tuned. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks. So guys, so you can see there's plenty of outdoor types of cameras from dome, turret, bullet, depending on the look you're going for, uh, there's usually a camera type for all sorts of locations. So, and of course, different types of resolution for different situations too, from two megapixel, four megapixel, eight megapixel, you know, and there's all kinds of types of um, or different levels of resolution for um, for night vision so think about all those different um, options helps you know obviously pick out the best camera for your situation so we like to use high vision because camera quality is incredible and I want to show you just another video of some super awesome eight megapixel cameras and some four megapixel cameras so links will be in the description of the camera models and if you guys have any questions please leave in the comments down below until next time, guys, we'll see you.